Mom? Dad? I'm... I'm home. Kasumi? Oh my god. My baby is okay. Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You... you saved my daughter. Thank you. Happy to do it, Kenji. You don't often see kindness in the Commonwealth. I'll never forget this. If any of you ever need help again, you know where to find us. Kasumi, does this mean... You know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry, I was just... so confused. I wanted to go... somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Listen to Kasumi next time, Kenji. Don't just try to keep her safe. Talk to her. I know. I will. I was holding on so tightly, I almost lost her. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. Thank you, Kenji. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that. See you around, Kenji. Goodbye, Nick. Best of luck to you and your partner in the future. Thank, Thank you. you so much for everything. Kasumi is home. My and family I'll make again. sure Kenji gives her some space to This breathe. is how it should be. Hey, Kasumi. I never realized before what I put Kenji and Rei through. How much they've lost. It's good to be back. I have a lot of projects in the boathouse. Now I'll get to finish them. Hey, I'm listening. This line of work. You have to expect the unexpected. Still, I've got to admit, I've never had a case quite like Kasumi's. It turned out to be quite an adventure. Yeah, a whole island trying to kill us. He is hoping the next case just takes us to some dingy bar. I could use a slow one. I'm glad things ended as well as they have. The Nakanos are a happy family again. As much as anyone around here can be. Alright, so I found it and the clue spells out the word railroad. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion and treachery and hunters, we're the sin's own friends. We're the real ones. So answer my question. I follow, I follow the Freedom, freedom Trail looking for the railroad. railroad. I'm, I'm not, not your enemy. enemy. If that's <laughs> true, you know what you're thinking. Who told you how to call me? Dr. Romara told me how to call you. Very interesting. Last, Last question. Why are you here? I found, I found a Corsair ship. ship. Can your people decode it? You, you have, have what? This is not, not a joke, man. I didn't, I didn't know, know we were at a party. party. What gives us my invitation? Oh, oh, I see you invited the Corsair to Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're, you're saying this intruder actually killed the Corsair? Single-handedly? Newsflash, boss. <coughs> this guy is kind of a big deal. 
you're done interrogating him, you know, Mike will show this closer murder to Shane a little bit. Just a I am a minimologist. Anyone who knows a closer is good in my book. I'm just a minimum. And I'm the leader of the band. Hopefully, Hopefully we can work something out. What you're, you're asking for puts, puts us in a tricky position. Dad, we need to let him in. He's got an intact horse ship, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. He killed a horse ship. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting him into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside.
try anything, stranger. Hey, don't try anything, stranger. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. Hear anything, Doc? Got nothing. Sorry. Just trying to practice medicine. I need some supplies, Doctor. I suppose I could spare some stimulus.
That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises, but if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there, for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. I can do. Nick. So, you got something for me? Maybe a pocket full of tapes belonging to an old ghoul? Finally got them all. Here. No fooling. Wow. That's some real solid detective work. Uh, they're older than dirt, but they've got Eddie's paw prints all over them. These are the real deal. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the old processor. Got it. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight, four, zero, six. That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Winter.
Got it.
You ain't gonna come in and say, hi? Who the fuck are you? Hey, it's all right. I'm just passing through. Passing through? A secure underground bunker? Just how the fuck did you get... No. No way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code. In the hollow tapes? <laughs> well, hey. It's only been what? 200 years? <laughs> well, look. I'm not sure what you thought you'd find. Gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. But you get me. One guy. A ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. That code? <laughs> it was a joke. I just wanted to prove how dumb those feds were. Turns out, pretty dumb. So take your asses someplace else. I'm not going anywhere until I get what I came for. Yeah? And what's that? And who are you, huh? You look kind of familiar. But what are you, some kind of robot? Is that what it's like out there now? A world of robot overlords? The name's Valentine. Nick Valentine. Remember me? Valentine? The cop? Is that who you're supposed to be? Sorry, pal. But you ain't Nick Valentine. You're just some kind of, uh, machine. You killed my fiance, Jennifer Lance. There are some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiance? You mean Valentine's fiance. A pretty girl. A shame what happened to her. But hey, you, or, you know, the real Valentine, he should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? Why do you even care? Some girl gets whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home, acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not even alive. Then I guess I'm in good company. You ain't taking me down! the company if you wanted to tag along.
is it. In this spot, 200 years ago, one of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Land's back. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny. And Nick. I... I'm at a loss. All I know is that without you, Eddie'd still be at large. I'm glad I could help. Seems like it meant a lot to you. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last bit of his business settled. I'm not sure how I feel. What was it you were expecting? I just thought this would fix things. It's not that easy. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. I'd hope with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. But being out here with you, what I... What I finally realized after all this time was that taking down Winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right. And that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. You don't have to, Nick. We're friends. This is what friends do. <laughs> you can't stop being noble now, can you? Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. Yeah, that is if you're still interested in traveling together. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted some time on your own after all this. Of course. Let's do it. Well, glad to hear it. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> 